Hello. In this video, we'll be covering the Normalize transformation, as found under the Transformation section of the toolbox. The Normalize transformation is a data set transformation, so all cardinality rules apply. Data must flow completely through the Normalize transformation. Uh, it is, the Normalize transformation is used to take data sets uh, that have many columns and transform them to data sets that have many rows. So for example, uh, if I look at my source data set here, you can see that I have uh, records by social security number and for each one I have one, two, three, four different tax types uh, with values under each one. What I would like to do is transpose this data set so that I have uh, one record for each of the values in the column as you see here in my target data set. So here instead of, uh, now in this case you can see where I have uh, 34, 78, the last four, and I, this record appears multiple times, actually four times, one for city, county, state, and federal. So this is my transposition of the original data set. And I was able to create this t uh, new data set through the normalized transformation. Now opening up the normalized transformation, you can see that we have uh, one output and in this case one, two, three, four inputs. In fact one for each of the columns that I'd like to create a new row for. Uh, also notice that the output here contains a different layout than my source layout. It's, in fact it's my destination layout here. So also notice that the output layout is identical to all of the input layouts. In fact, anytime I change anything in the input layout, I will change the layout for all of the inputs as well as outputs. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to go ahead and create this normalization from scratch and show you how to use it. So in this case, I'm starting with the exact same source data set. I'm going to go into Transformations and drag and drop the Normalize transformation onto the diagram. Uh, by default, you can see that it's set up with no layout in the output and two default inputs. Uh, so the first thing to do is to create our layout. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop one of the fields uh, onto the new member element of one of the inputs. Notice that as soon as I dragged it onto the first input, it appears on the second input. And that's because the layout must, is identical for all inputs and outputs. So no, no matter uh, where I make the change, it'll affect all the inputs. So since uh, SSN is pretty much just a pass-through, I can just leave this mapping as is. But the uh, rest of the fields, it makes no sense to map uh, directly or to actually to carry the exact field names back onto the new layout. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new layout through the Layout Editor. So the first field is Social Security Number, or SSN, and that's all well and good. The second field I'm going to call Amount, and it's going to hold the actual value in each of uh, the four columns that I'm taking values from. The next column will be the type to signify okay, where this value came from, because in this case, for the second column, all I have is the amount. Uh, on the next screen, you can see where I configure the number of mapping groups. Uh, this number should be identical or equal to the uh, number of columns that you're going to create a row for. So in this case, I'm creating a row for city, county, state, and federal, so I'm going to have four mapping groups. Clicking OK, you can now see that I have uh, inputs 0 through 3, or four mapping groups. Now, uh, I've done the first uh, mapping, so SSN to SSN. Now I'm going to take uh, the, the first mapping group, which corresponds to city, and map city to the amount. So I have the value under city in the amount column in my new uh, layout, or new data set. Uh, so now I need to specify the type. So what I could do is go into my transformations and use the constant value transformation and type directly here city. And then map this value to type. So now what I end up with is uh, a, a new data set, but with just with the amount of, from city and the type city. And this looks pretty good. So, But instead of using a constant, what I could do is use the actual 
uh, name of the element directly. And to do that, I can just drag and drop onto type and change the map type to field name. So as, as by default, you can see that the by default, anytime you make one of these links, it's taking the value. You can also take the field, the name, header, and t type if necessary, and you can see the field name descriptor indicating that I'm taking the field name, not the value. So if I preview the data here again, you can see that I end up with the exact same thing without having to use a constant map. So now that I have the city uh, mapped to the first input group, I'm going to use uh, the county for the next input group. So again, I'm going to take SSN and map that to SSN in the second input. Now I have now if this is not so bad since I only have you know one pass through column, but this could be kind of tiring if you have a lot of columns that just you're just passing through. To facilitate that, Centerprise has the concept of copying maps. So in this case, if I click on the uh, SSN, I could I could select apply this map to all groups, in which case it'll copy this mapping to every single map group. So here you can see SSN is mapped in all instances. So uh, now that I have SSN map for everything, I'm going to go ahead and repeat the mapping for uh, county. So in this case, I'm going to take the value of county and put that into amount. And same thing for state, put this into amount. And federal, put that into amount. And now I'm just going to map the, the types. So back to county uh, to type and change the map to field name. Same thing for state. And same thing for federal. And now that I have all of the mapping set up, I can preview my data. And you can see that I, I indeed have a data set uh, for one row for each of the different columns that I had in my original data set. And then I can just map directly from my output, as I would with any other transformation. Uh, and that concludes the normalized transformation. Thank you very much.